Good morning, everybody. Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today is officially the, I guess you could call it day one of the Southeast Street and Eat Drag and Drive event. Uh, we are, uh, it's pretty early. We're gonna be up getting everything ready, getting the car loaded up, and getting it loaded into the trailer. Um, I am here at the home of Underground Garage. Unfortunately, my car was not able to be brought. It, um, it's running, everything's back together, it's running good. The issue I had was the brakes. I decided to do a manual uh, brake setup on it and they're just not good enough and not dial in enough yet that I feel comfortable driving the car for you know several hours and then dry, uh, dragging it and everything. So, uh, like I said, we're here at Underground Garage. This is my buddy Josh. Um, he's got a, also a Fox body that's LS powered. And so instead of my car, we're gonna be bringing in his car and do the same thing. Um, so we're gonna be you know, dri driving it from track to track and then racing it and then driving and racing it and see if we can't come out with a best uh, EC average for the week. And yeah, that's, that's what we're doing. We're getting everything loaded up and ready. Uh, so we have to load the car up, we have to drive to the first track, check in and everything. And then tomorrow is actually the first day of racing. Um, so I'll just be kind of checking in, you know, as we're going through the journey. I'm going to try to do a video every day. So this, I guess, will kind of unofficially be day one. So that's kind of what we got going on. So if you're interested in Dragon Drives, this one's a, a fairly new one. I think this is the third event. It is uh, it's a, probably a little smaller than some of the other ones. It's a little bit less driving. Um, and it's mo located mostly in the Carolinas, North Carolina and a little bit of South Carolina. Um, so yeah, so that's what we got going on. So if you're interested in that, follow along. Action! Here we are preparing to go to Southeast Street and Eat. And this is our fearless leader, the slash driver. Trying to get out Mr. Of Josh car. trying to get out of the car. Enclosed trailers are awesome. With no escape door. <laughs> Last trailer had an escape door. It was awesome. As you can see, we, we, pretty <laughs> awesome. We've got a, a hat situation, a sunglass situation, a yep. door bar situation. About to have a gut situation. A gut situation. Cars are awesome. Suck it in! <laughs> Boom! Done! Almost. That's how it's done, people. Right there. This is the professional extraordinaire. Professional extractor. Extraction complete. Extraction complete. We are here. We have made it to the track. We are uh, going to pull the car in here and just take a look at something. We put an airbag system in uh, to help it from rubbing or anything on the rear tires. So we're just going to take a look at that and see if we can figure out. It seems like it's losing pressure. So we're going to look and see if we can figure out why the airbags are losing pressure.
It won't roll or anything, right? You want to put... Uh, it's in large. Okay. You think these chocks will, for your quad, if you put the quads under, you think that'll help if it was a, decide to go? It certainly wouldn't hurt, yeah. Put them behind the front tires or something. The only reason I ask is because we're going to be under it. Yeah. Unless you want to hook a strap up, we could do that too.
so that one uh it went down kind of it, it uh it's like a wheel hop pretty bad on the on that pass uh so we're gonna have to assess the tune see what it's doing um see if we need to make a tire pressure change or do some suspension work or pull a little bit out of the launch so we'll kind of see where we're at and what we have to do we'll probably try and get another one was the second pass of the day and 568 right 568 uh yeah i think at 123 so that one was 568 at 123 which is pretty much kind of what we're targeting i think we're gonna let that one uh let that one be the one yeah there it is there we go 133 so i think that's gonna probably be that's it for today day, right so day. i guess we'll start uh Checking everything out, make sure everything's good, start loading up the car. And at some point here in a little while, we'll head off to the next uh, the next stop, the next track. Well, actually there's a checkpoint first. So we gotta go hit the checkpoint and then we'll head to the next track and that's where we'll stay for tonight. So I'll check back with you here in just a little bit. All right, so we're almost done packing up. You can see there we've got the whole trunk loaded. All the shit that was here is now there. So we got just a couple things here, bag, thing of water, I don't, maybe the cooler. Uh, there's the luggage and stuff in the back. There is the Walter Bader. Check out the Sable. Uh, cool. Mercury Sable rolling in for a drag and drive, that's awesome. All right, so we, uh, we've stopped here at our first uh, not really a checkpoint just yet. We're headed there, but we've stopped just to check the car and check tires and that kind of stuff. And we've actually found a problem right here. You can see this little guy. You can see that there, but he is damaged. He has been riding right there on that tire. So to fix that, what we're going to do here is this line. If I can find it. Ah, so that line is this guy right here. And so this had fell down into there like that. So if we're gonna pull this guy up here and we're gonna zip tie him, something like that. And that'll pull that harness away from that tire. You can see there, it clears down. So that's not uh, gonna rub on that tire. So that's the kind of stuff that you wanna find before it becomes a problem. And uh, yeah, so that's, yeah. We'll gonna stop and check things here and there when we uh, have a chance for that very reason. So I just kind of wanted to show that. Another thing I uh, wanted to show real quick is this is actually why we found the nitrous line there laying on the tire. Um, this little guy here is what was used to check the tire uh, temperature. We were checking the center of the tire versus like the outside of the tire just to see if they were underinflated or overinflated, something like that. Um, and it, what we found was what we figured to be true they were under inflated so we inflated them a little bit but getting down there and putting this on the tire is where josh found the the line laying yeah. on the tire so that was 
key to finding that. Had we not found that, it would have probably wrapped a hole completely through that, and maybe yeah. wrapped itself around the tire or something. Who knows what could have happened? Filled the Grand Canyon with debris. Yes, filled the Grand yeah. Canyon with debris. Knocked Mount Rushmore into the Grand Canyon. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, just there you go. And that was Harbor Freight. Uh, yeah, Harbor has Freight. Has this kind of stuff. Yep. And so, like, you never know on like the rear tires, you set them at whatever at the track. Right. And then you know you should probably run more air for the so they don't wear out on the road. But like, what is that? Is that 20, 25, right. 32, 11? And so with the temperature thing, you can mess with it until you get the temperature even all the way even across. All across. And that's your best wear for the drive. And then once you know the back pressure, you just remember or write it down, record it somehow. That, that that's what that's where you need to target. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, we are uh, going to take off here in a few minutes and head to the first checkpoint. So I'll check in with you guys there. All right. We just made it. We are here at checkpoint one. Uh, you can see here the Jaime is the baiter, as he's been deemed, at least for this trip it seems. <laughs> um, no issues really so far other than the, the one line we showed you. Um, yeah, so we're, so the, the whole idea behind the checkpoint is it's just to verify that you're making the stops and everything and you have to take a picture with the car uh, at that area. And then you have to actually show that picture to the um, administration tomorrow. And yes, we are at a train museum, which is awesome timing. So yeah, we are at a train museum and you have to show the picture of the car at this location tomorrow morning when we check in at the next track. So um, there's, there's two stops today, there's two checkpoints. So we got here and then the next one is like CPR performance or something like that. And they're gonna have a little get together there and a taco truck and some drinks and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, so that's where we're at. We're at the first checkpoint. We're gonna check the car out, maybe check the museum out a little bit and then we're going to move on to the next checkpoint. I know I didn't really check in during the drive or anything, uh, but it was fairly uneventful. Uh, the car ran great. We are here at checkpoint number two. Spin this around. This is uh, CPR performance parts. Here in Blues, South Carolina. Um, the only slight issue we're kind of maybe seeing is the, at speed at like 65, 70 on the interstate, uh, was running a little bit warmer than we would have liked it to have. Um, the, Josh had removed the thermostat out of the car not too long ago. He was having some different issues, and so he removed the thermostat out. And now we're wondering if, with no thermostat, if it's not letting, if it's letting the water circulate too quickly, and it's not letting it, uh, you know, hang out in the radiator long enough to let it cool off. Um, so we just slowed down a little bit. Uh, we slowed down to like 60 on the interstate, and it, it cooled off a little bit. So we just kept trucking and. So we're here now, so I think since we're here at this performance parts place, we're maybe thinking maybe they'll have a thermostat. Um, so we'll pick that up, maybe throw that in in the morning. Um, pretty easy to do on, on the LS stuff. So that's kind of where we're at. We're gonna go check in and grab some food. There's a taco truck here. And yeah, I can hang out for a little bit and then we'll be on our way. So stay tuned. Okay. Right. Little video recording here. Here All we right. are, we are at the parking lot of CPR performance parts. Yep. And showcase some of the 
Dang, that's pretty. Cars here on the street in eat. What's up, man? We're here. You made it. Yeah. The EGT is kind of starting to come around after we drove for a little bit, so that's nice. The valve lapped itself up being tuned a little bit, so. Right. 